Hello, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and today I would love to create some tiny beauty, a little canvas using not so typical materials. We're gonna recycle a little bit today. Uh, who doesn't have a box of used crayons? This one is a huge box, it's Emily's and since really she dumped um, this box, uh, she's a big girl now, uh, of course I will keep it for Hannah but I thought I'm gonna find a few bits and pieces here, small little elements that I can actually use and find a lovely use for my canvas. So I'm gonna put the box away since it's huge and heavy. <laughs> and I have a few uh, crayons here, small crayons. I hope you can see it well. And I'm gonna use that as my background uh, today. Mm, I will start with taking the foil off my little canvas. I bought this canvas, as you can tell, in Tiger. Uh, many uh, countries already have this shop, but I'm sure you can use even a cardboard if you like it. And having a t canvas, I think it would be lovely to create my background from those crayons. Can you imagine? And mix media piece with it, but uh, because I think it will be just so awful, aw awesome to use them. But because, no, I'm gonna keep those for Hannah actually, because they are super cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep those. I'm changing my mind. Those are little cuties, so I'm gonna put those away. But I'm sure I'm gonna find tons of uh, other that Emily does not use, like those. I think it will be nice to give them a different look. So let's say, like this one, I'm gonna make one edge super sharp, another one not so much. This one I'm gonna keep as it is maybe. This one I'm gonna just gently do the ending. This one maybe a lot again. Uh, I think it's nice to um, try to even in ordinary things like crayons in this in this case, try to find. Oh, this is this one is IKEA. <laughs> This one is Ikea one. Try to find, uh, try to alter your pieces. Try to find some nice ways of using ordinary items, like now. Okay, this is it, this is awesome. Now I'm gonna keep this one as it is, I like it, Ethan. Oh, we're gonna have the huge selection. I like the little touches here. Hopefully this will be standing out in our texture, I don't know. And uh, the metal piece from Robert, I'm gonna keep it as it is. I'm, I like this as it is. I'm gonna keep that as well. This was Emily's, <laughs> there's her name, uh, there was her name. So I'm gonna keep that for, uh, for as it is with the little plastic thing here, maybe like that. Uh, rubber, I'm gonna keep that as well and hmm, I'll see. Uh, I'll see if I'll be going maybe some something like that. Now, interesting enough, I've done all kinds of backgrounds I'm gonna show you now. I've done one with clothes pegs, uh, there's a video on it, and I also have done one background with using a set of crayons, I used uh, little tubes, paint tubes, so you can use so many beautiful things, so many ordinary things. I'm gonna glue this down uh, using, uh, you can use hot glue, you can use gel medium, so whatever works best for you. I will use a 3D gel medium, and I'm gonna just move those down, similar, uh, similar way as it's now because I I wish to kind of recreate it. I think it will be so much easier if I basically will add some gel medium on top of my canvas rather than going one by one, one by one. And even after drying the gel medium will leave some marks like let's say the crayon is shorter than the gel medium that I'm I have it here. I don't mind because I think this gel medium will give me this extra interest and some texture on top of my canvas, which is nice, I think. So I'm going to purposely actually add some more gel medium. Um, so not only that this will lovely hold my uh, crayons, but also will give me some interest, which is nice. This is it. So I'm going to be placing my... I will be placing my crayons. Mm-hmm. You know what? I had this project in mind for 
so long so funny because I had the box in the studio for so long but <clears throat> as you know I have <clears throat> excuse me I have uh, been cleaning my studio and and I found it because I lost it somehow along the line I think there should be two together no something you know what I'm gonna leave it as it is maybe I'm gonna just stick this one here mm-hmm maybe something like that something like that something like that will I am I able to stick one more oh sorry I'm off camera a little bit mm, I have this tiny beauty there I'm gonna I just want to make sure that is enough glue because it will be just yeah maybe something like that how cool is this already? So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come back to you in just a second. I was thinking to use also some some letters, something different, something interesting and just randomly place some letters. I think they will match nicely the whole uh, canvas idea and since the gel medium is there why not? I'm going upside down and you know it doesn't matter how you're gonna play with your letters uh, something like oops something like that maybe here that's nice um I think I wish them to be also on top maybe this is just for creating this extra oops texture and interest really something different isn't it something different. My K doesn't have to be straight, it can be upside down because then it looks just nice. Mm -hmm. What about letter F here somewhere? Mm. I think, I, I'm not sure if it's sharp enough for you. Oh, now it's better I think. Mm -hmm. What about J going somewhere along here? Because it's a smaller letter. I like that. I love that action. Now, my idea for it is to maybe add some flower. I'm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see. Oh, maybe we could have this sticking out a little bit. How is that idea going? Like, like this? And I think that's pretty much enough. I wouldn't like to have too much, so I'm gonna dry that and then gesso it. I'm back to you after many, many days. <laughs> and in the meantime, I was doing another video, a vlog video, where you have watched it. And so I'm not even sure what I've said at the last, at this video. Anyway, this is dry. We have to gesso it. We have to prepare our surface uh, so we can uh, work with our mediums and decide for what to do next. So I'm using white gesso. Oh, and you can hear little Hannah in the background. It's early morning, early hours morn of morning and my voice is definitely still asleep. I haven't uh, have a coffee yet. So uh, once I'm going to put the layer of gesso here, I am uh, gonna go and wait for this to dry so I'm gonna make a coffee that moment so we're priming that with gesso of course I'm using white but of course you can use transparent gesso black gesso whatever you like however you feel uh, works best for you but white I like the fact that I can just hide all the colors and have everything equal the same and then it's much easier for me to paint it now I also try to add some gesso in between my crayons and pencils because there is some gel medium. As we know gel medium will resist the color uh, so uh, it's not going to hold your color. Sometimes it does. I see that depending on the brands different things happen with products. But in general, gesso, uh, in general gel medium should not really hold your color so it's good to cover it up now with a uh, gesso and have this uh, layer of prime primer basically yeah so that's how it looks 
I'm gonna leave this to dry and actually think of what to do next with it and uh, yeah that's how it looks and it looks pretty good to me <laughs> actually it can be like this it can be like that I didn't make up my mind yet oh I see a little see you in a minute my canvas is dry and I have few bits and pieces that I'm hoping to use today on that canvas I will spray that in pinkish kind of color uh, I love them flowers pretty delicate and I think this canvas could look nice uh, with those pinkish shades I don't know I don't know I'll see um, so what I'm gonna do is I will reuse my <laughs> tissues my kitchen towels from previous uh, video and from previous spraying actually and I'm gonna just gently uh, try to add a little color here and there oh that's a very delicate indeed but that's okay now it would be good to think for where would you like to have your embellishments but I guess you can do it uh, later earlier it's it depends how you find it and how do you like them to be uh, where is your focal point to be oh that doesn't want to go maybe I can use it directly from my tube your focal point where would you like this to be where would you like your uh, darker elements brighter or maybe you want to go for the full color on the canvas that's up uh, entirely fine I think I prefer if this would go uh, oh it's happening there we go so like that I'm just trying to think where is my white maybe somewhere here oh I have some chalky white which I would love to maybe spray somewhere here a little bit and I have some black as well which so I'm trying kind of oh this black ends up being a little purple pearl black hmm in my colors it looks purple it looks blue strange I must say very strange but that's okay we go oh there we go we have to mix it better see but it's still bluish <laughs> I don't mind actually I don't mind I don't mind Oh, it's very dark now. That looks nice. Now, directly spraying, spraying as you can tell, it it makes your canvas being sprayed everywhere. That's okay. Go quickly with your white over, and if you don't want your spots like they were here, the white will help to, you know, to to ease that, to to cover that up. And oh, I think. I add a little pink here because the the my my pencil was greenish here. So what I'm gonna do now is I will add a little more color here and then I'm gonna dry it. Oh, come on, that doesn't want to go. Come on, <laughs> uh, that's okay. I'm gonna yet again use a tube. Maybe this will help here and there. Here and there, I like I like how the color stays near the edges of my letters. I like that, and after drying, it will be lovely. And also, I'm gonna try to maybe put it in between. No, maybe not. Maybe a little, but not too much. No. Um, we will do some drying gesso, of course. Drying gesso will helps lovely to have it all nice uh, blending together so this is this looks really good to me I like that I like that I love the colors so far I really do I'm adding a little bit here next to my black that isn't really black but that's okay now blending with white a little more now it's time to dry that um, I I grabbed some other black and I'm gonna just gently add some black yes because this black is really not black and I really th wish this to be black so my my black from 13 arts turned out to be not black that's okay maybe it's just I don't know maybe it just happened <laughs> the pigment um, 
was kind of bluish to me, which I liked, but in this case I really wanted this to go more pink and yeah, so I'm just using different black now and maybe sometimes happy mistakes are good so maybe this will actually turn out to be interesting and nice so we shall see I like this now it's more contrast to me and I much more prefer this sort of <clears throat> look uh huh now a little bit here and there um, when you open your sprays, remember that some pigment are, is around your neck of your bottle and you can, if you do it over your project, you elements of mica and things of pigment will uh, go on your project so be very careful to do that next to your, um, next to your uh, project, not over your project now I'm trying to squeeze that, what's that color? Chick chocolate lac I have one more bottle, so hopefully this will <laughs> work. Oh, that's much better. Now, I like that, see? I love that com color combination right now. A little bit of that. Uh, no, actually, maybe this purple, uh, uh, this pink, sorry. A little bit, just a delicate, gentle touch. And white to kind of blend in. All water would help to blend in everything. Now definitely time to dry this. And my canvas is dry absolutely loving the colors that we have here and I, I'm not sure if the uh, fact that the crayons had its own color a little bit doesn't make it even better because I haven't purely whited uh, I didn't it wasn't that white white and you know what <clears throat> I'm not going to add any flowers to it because I'm going to kill the effect of having crayons and pencils and, as my background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab white gesso <clears throat> and I will just gently try to add a little bit of highlight to my project as it is now. So with a little touch of gesso I'm just going to highlight my letters and my design in general. Um, and you know what, I'm not gonna, yeah, just like that, a little touches. I am not gonna be adding flowers because I absolutely love the way it's now. So I'm gonna just gently touch with a brush and gesso to kind of highlight and to kind of finish it off. Absolutely loving that, loving that, loving that. I'm so happy because I had a bit of a different plan for this. I always say I have no plan because I don't but when I'm doing it obviously the plan is kind of starting to create in my head and this time it's it. I had it, I had really, I really wanted to make it lovely and pretty <clears throat> with flowers and all but you know what? No. <laughs> I think I'm gonna uh, follow the idea from few 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 years back and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that I, I'm gonna go on my Instagram and on my Instagram I will definitely find a project with tubes instead of having uh, little crayons and pencils I used tubes and I'm gonna show you that very old project but one of my favorites of all uh, really really um, I really loved it, enjoyed it. I'm trying to, I'm, maybe I'm gonna just pause the video and go to that um, project be, instead of instead of scrolling. But I think I'm pretty near. Am I? Am I? I'm not. Ah, oh, the Instagram is full of beautiful projects that I even forgot I made. Oh, I have it. <clears throat> there we go. Let me show you this closer. And let me do just. There we go. As, uh, can you tell? You can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, are you? Oh, I love it. And it's written to the artist. Everything is possible. This was just a canvas where I have, oh, where I have just, uh, where I have just used tubes, paint, and title. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing now. Instead of adding any color, any flowers, I'm gonna do the same thing. By the way, Maremi's small art. Maremi's a little underscore, underline, 
small underline art that's my Instagram if you wish to uh, follow I'm gonna show you maybe the 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 the, the here, there we go that's how it is you can follow it you can see babinka on it let me show you this is babinka on the Instagram uh, so you can see the projects, you can see glimpse of Lucas if you haven't seen it yet, and a little baby Inca. Uh, you know, I usually share things that they're not. Uh, sometimes they're not on on YouTube, like this uh, journal page that I created some time ago, pretty recently, <laughs> um, on some evening, I think. Uh, our journal journaling by night, yes, indeed. So yes, you can find lovely things on my. Instagram so marry me small art if you wish to uh, give it a follow um, this is annoying oh there we go oh that's much better so what I'm gonna do is let me just get back my camera to the right position so instead of adding flowers I am gonna just add a title from Tim Holt's book small talks I don't think I even ever used it. Oh, I did. Let me just have a quick read. I, I, I have a little trouble because everything there I love. Um, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Life was meant for a great adventure. Start doing, start doing lovely, uh, start doing things you love. Live your dream with passion. All of them are just, I'm just trying to think what's for now. Um, what's for now, for me, which which words, which sentence, and by the way, if you wish to have a pick, it's Tim Holtz, ideology, uh, stickers, small talks, uh, yeah, that's, he's got, he's got other, uh, which is like them words, smaller, I, I think I have this doubled, possible, uh, yeah, doubled, I think, and there is a new one, that I need to get my hands off and I think it has like funny quotes, funny sentences. Um, my friend Sue uh, showed it on the in, on the in Facebook and I and she was quoting a few things saying how fun it was. Um, yeah, so I have to get into your shop and order it. Uh, I just didn't have a uh, time. Um, let me look once more at this one. I think I found three lovely quotes and I'm going for black because the black will match kind of my edges and it will stand out more on the white. So I have trust your crazy ideas, creativity takes courage, there is a beauty, be, there is beauty in simplicity. I really believe that this is absolutely uh, representing this project. So I think this will uh, this will just be absolutely perfect. Um, I couldn't be happier with this piece. And I'm pretty sure that many of you felt inspired with this one. I hope anyway. Uh, if you did, I'm going to use some hashtag for uh, small those small uh, projects. I really wish to see uh, your your makes with it. Uh, I'm going to make some hashtag maybe. Let me think. I think I found the perfect uh, hashtag for it, so it will be Maremi Tiny Art Challenge. I'm challenging you to make some tiny art pieces. Uh, I hope more will come. And if you will use this hashtag exactly, I'm going to show you how hashtags work. Um, my uh, very own hashtag that I use all the time, and many of you do, is called Maremi Small art and I show you how actually how this works because I think that many of you have really uh, str struggled to understand about the hashtag so I'm gonna show you uh, this is my hashtag Maremi small art every time I post oh you can't see I'm gonna bring my camera uh, to you close um, wait two seconds I'm gonna do like this I'm gonna do like that and I hope I'm able to show you what I mean. So when you have hashtags, all kinds of hashtags, what what does it really look um, um, means for you? Let's say if I do hashtag, and I'm gonna click on the hashtag called called this one Maremi Small Art. So I have it written. I'm gonna bring even closer, but at least you will understand the idea. So Maremi Small Art. I'm gonna click on that hashtag. There we go. And I did. 
so we have hashtag, we have all the projects, 4,000 or posts, posts, 4,054 posts regards Maremi uh, small art and then we have the most popular, uh, it doesn't matter, but in general uh, these are all the projects that were inspired usually by my person, my videos, my chats, my photos, my projects and all of them are created by you. Oh, let's say this is my stencil that uh, someone have used, I didn't, I didn't even see those yet. Um, no, oh yeah, there is, sorry. Um, we have CC's inspired and Marta as well. We have uh, alcohol ink. These are Marami Small Art and CC's as well. Another little piece, altered brush, and someone have tagged me, uh, so that way I can see it. Another project, trying to master listed pro products, and I love this one, Marami Small Art and uh, and Lindy's Gang. That's another one. I hope you can see well. Am I going too fast? I'm just trying to show you. Um, playing with inks, nothing like a pro Marami Small Art hashtag. That way I can see the projects, you can see the projects, or or um, projects, or, or someone, I uh, don't understand that language, card making, you can see work, and, uh, uh, art journaling, all oh, those are my prints actually. Someone have used my prints of my butterflies. This one was completely out of my comfort zone. I wanted to create something uh, Shona made beautiful. Of course I have to love it. Love it. Big time. Because it's gorgeous. I've seen it before on the cafe actually. Uh, in the Facebook group. Um, so yes, that's that's how the hashtags work. So if you go to, let's say, Marami Lapko Marta Lapkowska, there is a hashtag like that as well. And people have, uh, people have used, oh, someone have bought my uh, little bits and pieces and made a little video. So, oh, that's my project actually. So the hashtags are for it. Oh, that's an online class that uh, Rachel did, completed. Uh, that's another video where there are my products uh, from my Etsy store that because I can even see my envelope so for sure underneath it uh, so that's oh, that's the that's actually the project we did on the on on the classes on in Coventry I absolutely loving 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 that class I was teaching this class so the idea is to basically uh, be able to find things that you're interested in and it's not only about my hashtag because if you go on the hashtag let's say American crafts you will see all the posts from American crafts and people that are uh, sharing their projects with those products same for if you go to art journal page so you have a hashtag art journal page how many posts is there and you see all millions zillions projects that's what the hashtags are for. If you're looking for something, you click on hashtag. If you want to be found, you add your hashtags. So that's the, basically the idea. I hope I helped. Maybe I should actually make a separate video on that. And I will. How do you think? Would that make sense if I'll just have a little chat about hashtags, Instagram and how this works and why we do those things? Maybe, maybe I could, maybe I could do that if if it's any point, let me know. As usually, as always, I'll ask your opinion. So the, the, the this uh, we could make a new hashtag: Marami Tiny Art Challenge. Um, my one is Marami Small Art that you always use. I always use Marami Tiny Art Challenge. That will bring us to creating. Let me just get the camera back on track. That way we can see our projects. We can see our lovely things inspired by the same videos, especially the tiny arts that I will be creating. Do you know what? I'm not going to add anything. No liquid pearls, no string this time, nothing. A pure um, simplicity but beauty as it says. I absolutely love it. I hope uh, you enjoyed that too. I wonder what colors you see in the camera because I I have beautiful colors on my desk here. Uh, it's awful weather today. Awful. Awful. There's no sun. Nearly no daylight. So I'm not sure <clears throat> what kind of colors you see. <clears throat> but anyway, I need a sip of coffee because I can hear myself. <clears throat> You know, this is not, excuse me, ordinary coffee, it's a sicory one. I still feed the baba, so I shouldn't be drinking coffee, so sicory coffee is working fine. 
Um, what else I'm gonna say? I'm gonna wrap up with that. <laughs> That's what I should say. And I always thank you for your comments and thank you for the previous um, comments for the previous video about I did a daily vlog, a little chat on in the store, and you loved it and you smashed and you you wiped it off me with the comments. So I'm reading them and I'm loving them. Yes. Uh, oh, those little letters. Uh, let me show you them if you wish to. If you wish to uh, have them, they are in my Etsy store, little wooden uh, letters uh, with other things, of course. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing your inspirations of tiny uh, art pieces with crayons and pencils and something like that. Cannot wait, cannot wait to see it. So thank you so much as always. A pleasure to be back to you. Uh, I'm finishing this video, but I'm literally stopping this one and I'm going to record one or two more uh, So I'm going to have a few videos ahead for you um, Yeah, thank you so much. I miss you already <laughs> and I'll talk to you so soon. Happy crafting. Enjoy Enjoy the creative simple things uh, Yeah, just make the most of it. Bye. I love you loads. Bye. Bye